everyone. Time for another obscure game I play through. This is Kosku Card Battle. Card Hero. This is a DS uh, follow-up to Card Hero Trade and Battle for the Game Boy Color. This is a fully featured card game that was actually released uh, on cardboard uh, back in the early 2000s. This is sort of a little update to it. Namely, it features the speed battle mode. This kind of doubles as a tutorial slash a alternative method of battle. She's Hiragana. I'll be uh, utilizing fast forward quite a bit here. Uh, pace of the game could be a little bit better. Lots of dialogue, of course, and also waiting for our opponent's turns. Yeah. Alright, we got our friend here. She's got our card. Sure, so there's some very amusing dialogue here, but I am not going to be reading any of it. Just find the game, folks. What did you do? Alright, we got our script cards. <laughs> the tutorial pack exclusive. This card is one of the worst cards in the game. I guess Ichijo is about to teach us how to speed battle here. Alright. This is gonna go over the game flow real quick. In the speed version of the game, each player has a Two tiles to occupy with their fighters or monsters. Front row and a back row. And they fight each other, basically. You start with one stone, and once you fill up your opponent's uh, stone meter, you win the game. Not unlike the prize system in Pokemon. Turn. And while the twist of this game is we can actually level up our monsters here. So whenever they KO, if we have a stone remaining, I have one stone remaining, we can spend it to level up our guy. That restores his HP and gives him a little attack boost. Alright, our powered up guy is ready to attack, and this is gonna knock him out since the stun meter is only three for this game. Ugh. We win.
And I know this is just a tutorial, but it's kind of a foreshadowing of just how OP going first is in speed battling, but... We'll get into that later. This Manitot. Basically a strict upgrade over uh, Spartus. Has 4 HP instead of 2. And it's still pretty bad. Going to card shopped. Here's a Beyond, another early game fodder card. I can attack from range, hit for two damage. It's a fine, uh, fine early game card. Not one that'll stick around later on for sure. It does some damage. Ooh, we get a Riggs card pack. Cat here really wants to get on my keyboard. Oh, I guess I'm playing the game again. Okay. So beyond we're going back. It's a back row monster. Get to use a uh, Beyond's arrow shot here. Eventually, I'll figure out what I'm supposed to do here. I've gone past it before. Weird. There we go. You hold L and R and then click on it to check the range of that. kind of where the front row back row thing really comes into play. Uh, back row monsters are terrible in the front row. They basically don't get to do anything, but you combine a good front row guy with a good back row guy and you have a pretty big advantage. Alright. Another uh, rig tutorial one. Here's where the frontline stuff matters. Uh, Beyond does not have a melee attack. It can attack for zero, so it, it lives in the back row, basically. It can pick off another back row monster every now and then, but it's usually just going to move backwards. So it's kind of important to keep your frontline monster alive. And we'll get magic later to facilitate that. <laughs> Alright, now I can finish him off. Or her off. Hey, dancing cat.
right, here's our first, uh, resem <laughs> first thing resembling a real card. The, uh, bubble. 5 HP attacks for 2 and then 3 on level up. I just like the baseline... Baseline average card. If you're Celtic Guardian of Yu-Gi-Oh! or you're a uh, Grizzly Bear of MTG. Well, Celtic Guardian might be a little hard. Maybe like... Rainbow Colored Fish? some spells here. Level change, iron shield, and spark. Spark being the best of the bunch here. We'll go over those later. And lightning. Or thunder, actually. Thunder, a really nice finishing spell. I'm playing first or second year, but uh, hopefully the Beyond will make it so it doesn't really matter which is which. Okay, I'm second, but... This is close to an auto win. We're gonna get two... Hopefully two free kills here uh, before Haruka gets to do anything. It's just gonna auto level up for whatever reason. That's fine. No beyond, so we'll get a we'll get a second kill here. So Manitok cannot level up further, so we're actually gonna buff up this beyond here. Let's do it. It's cat dance. Okay, well, looks like it's not gonna let me do that. <laughs> I was gonna take out the other Beyond and, uh... Oh, use a shield, sure. This is a fine play too, just, uh... If you have a kill on the table, just take it. Save spells for later. That's what she did. Prime means it was the wrong play then. Whew, beyonds for days. This is basically over. Even if she uh, manages to kill something, we'll be able to thunder off that beyond.
nothing I do really matters. We're just gonna off this thing and bolt the beyond. So I'll give some S stuns to Thunder off here. It doesn't really matter what I hit, but. Oh, okay. I thought it wasn't gonna wasn't gonna let me do it. I was like, that wins the game, man. He's explaining the uh, deck building rules to us. Hey, right, Yamber, nice uh, back row card. Rouge, keep design not super good, but Rouge can attack from uh, any range, which can be nice. Ruffy, a uh, really good all rounder, can attack from both throws. Ooh, and we get Spark too, and level change. Obviously we're gonna take out Spartus since it's terrible. I don't think we have any extra cards, so this is our deck. speed. So let's see here. We can get this Ruffy down to one. We can use a spark to kill it, but uh, I don't think Ichijo has any really good options here, so I think we just pass turn. Rush has to spend a stun to use her attack, so not really ideal for uh, Ichido there. If he has a spark now, he gets to level up off uh, Yonber, but I think that's fine. Actually, no, uh, no level ups for Yonder here. Uh, Manitot finishes that off no matter what. That Manitot's gonna level up. Not a whole lot we can do about that. Bone at the Rouge here uh, might help us out later on. Now's as good a time as any to shield up as well. Oh, 
that ended up not helping out at all. We gotta take some damage here, but uh, we do have the thunder to close things out. Hopefully, things don't get too uh, scary here. Yeah, whatever. We can get that level back. Actually, finish off either of those because of a uh, bone pause skill. I will just do a normal attack. Can't believe you won. Taking uh, yeah. Gowrick has a range attack, but it costs one to use, and uh, even though it can get to level three, its base attack is one, so. Really awkward to use. Got some mail. Get some cards from here too, I believe. Or not. Maybe this one? Yeah, alright, we have another Beyond. It ain't great, it's nice to a stiff breeze, but uh, at least it's a card. <laughs> Speed up the dialogue a little bit, that'll help us out. Right, doing some rouge things. Here's Just demonstrating that you can level up twice when you defeat a level 2 monster. Granted, you have the stones available. Here's a demonstration of uh, not leveling up. Leveling up uses 
use the stone, so sometimes it can be beneficial to not level up. Usually you take it, but especially this early in the game, but it's an option. Talking. Hey, we're meeting our rival, uh... Roma? Eh. Remo? Is that a mo? Whatever. <laughs> Cool, but I think he's supposed to be kind of a jerk, like maybe you're a Kaiba type. Anyway, we're gonna take out more of these Spartans here, they're terrible. Oh, we have too many Beyonds already, so... Alright, well, we have one Spartus. All these octopus, uh, a little bulkier than the dog here. No need to level up quite yet. If he uses a shield, he gets us, but... This way we're, uh, most efficient with our HP as possible. shape your, uh, let's see what magic he has, but that's a three monster lead. Go ahead and get this level up with Yon Beer before I forget. If we're lucky, I can, uh, snipe something off from the second row without having to move it back in the game. Uh, not... Okay. Just wins it for us. It didn't really do anything. Oh my gosh, we won. He's gonna pretend to give us his card. That was a truth or a D and a really nice frontline card. It would be helpful if we got it for sure, but we won't get it until after we beat the regular mode here. Like chapter eight of the story mode. Oh, flashed right before our eyes, like we had it. And more mail. Ants and stuff. Alright, back to the story.
Ruka can just not win a game. El Sol attack both rows at the same time. It's a fine card. I mean, I'd much rather have it than a Spartus. Kind of stinks early on because you can't actually uh, gain levels with it. At least not the way you would want to if it's a uh, special attack. What do we got? Right. Can you just tell us it's a tutorial fight? Again, we, we cannot level up this Yambir because Tokoke actually one shots at Spartus. Yep, still can't. Still can't level it up. Well, that bird's a goner, I hate to say. Koke might live. We'll see. Nope, it's dead. Both those guys will get to level up, too. Well, if you, like, wanted to. Survive a turn. Maybe not. We're gonna have to use this thunder to wipe them out. It took longer than expected, but uh, just kind of goes to show if you have two back row monsters, it really kind of messes up your plans. Students to fight, I guess. And we gotta go second. Alright, we get a nice beefy octopus, a uh, coke, and a beyond. He can steal the advantage back here. Oh no. Luckily he made the wrong attack, so uh, we do get to level up. So like, okay here. What he should have done was finish off the Beyond.
Ruffy isn't really a back row monster, but uh, it's still a poke for one damage back there, so still a fine option. Now, uh, I have the option to magic here, but eh, I think I'm fine with losing the Tsukoke here. He's, he's done his job. He has no more levels to gain. Ruffy's already at 4 HP, so level up's a little extraneous. Uh, I want to shield anything? Eh, I'm good. I guess I could have shielded the, the Beyond, but they're gonna need a perfect card to get it. And they didn't even have it. Do that. Do that. Level up this. Beyond's toast, but if they get the Beyond, I, I get access to Thunder to end it, so no biggie. No, don't even have to worry about that, okay? Another kind of a mascot card. It was also in the Game Boy Color game. It's it's an interesting card. Uh, it can attack from the back row or up close, but if it uses its melee attack, it also damages itself. I kind of consider it like a rain beefy ranged attacker that can, uh... That can attack up front in a pinch. Also has a super form. We, we might get a freebie of that as well. Principles. Story down. Some more mail. Ooh, this is an actual card. What we got? Oh, great. <laughs> That's what I needed for my deck. Another Spartus. To the old shop. Ooh, 
Ooh, are these gonna be like actual packs? World of Quest. Yumber. Ruffy. Ooh, super Ruffy. A uh, sacred, sacred beast Ruffio, I believe. Yeah, that that pack is definitely rigged. We can actually be either of those, that's kind of funny. That's so nice of us. Nice of him, he's gonna let us win. to build our deck from scratch. Let's see if we have enough good cards to build out. We have four range attackers. Yep. Eh, that's a fine little deck. Neons are a little sketchy, but they hit for two. We get to put Rafi on there too, in case we can level up one of our Rafia, regular Rafis. Oh, we gotta do a tournament now. Oh uh, no, just a just a one-off match here. Let's uh, use our new deck here. Alright, we play first. Let's say we save that Rafi for later to increase my chances of getting it to the super. Burn a spark here just to get that beyond in a bad position. I'll let us hit whatever uh, opponent plays here in the front row pretty hard. Oh, looks like I wasted it. They're just gonna level up right back at us.
I have a trick up my sleeve, and it's Raphio. We're gonna set up for a kill for next turn, hopefully. We have enough stones to level up twice. Well, that is two kills, and we'll get a powerful super monster and try and close it out. Not this will actually work, but I mean, it's kind of sweet, so I gotta go for it. He kind of threw a curveball now on there. All right, fine by me. Similar position as last game, so I guess I'll just go for it again since it worked. I mean, why not? Alright, just so you don't have the exact same match again. Let's hold off on it and see how that works out. a little more HP efficiency. money. Alright, I 
I don't need. Oh. It's a TCG experience, folks. more randos. Our deck's honestly pretty good, so hopefully we don't have any trouble with views, even if we go second. Oh no, he gets go first, alright. Let's start out with Octopus, with Tokoke and Bonzo. Okay, should be able to enable a pretty quick start here. Okay, okay, it had spark. That's reasonable. Now the question is, do I want to level up Bomzo or Galbeer? I think, I think we'll uh, start at the back row here. Bomzo's at max HP, so... Leveling him up doesn't actually do us that much good. You poke that thing for damage. Now we can level him up. is a really weird card because it actually loses HP every time it levels up. But it still regains one there, so it's not a terrible trade. Alright, we actually get to knock both these fellas out. No need to use your shield. Bombs does a goner, but that's all right. Ooh. This really matters too much because once we get access to Thunder, we can basically just burn him out, but see if we can do it without uh, losing another guy. Definitely be playing one of our weaker cards first. Uh, I play El Sol. He can poke the back row a bit before he goes down. Oh, we're not. This is a spark. I'm actually pretty good with that. I can use a spark for a level up or use a shield.
should have access to any more magic, so I think it's safe to just stall here. This Beyond is super dead, but it's a one-for-one -one trade if he does that. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay. That might have been a mistake. I mean, whatever. We're still ahead on cards and on stones, so whatever, whatever we do should be fine. low behind here, but uh, we have a window to use a super, and super will be game here if he pulls it off. Also using thunder would work too, but we'll go for the style points. gonna make us buy a pack here so rather save it for the later on ones but whatever good pickups here give me a good back row attacker and go sheep a good uh, front row attacker This sheep's basically a strict upgrade over Bubble here. Pygmy has 3 HP and can attack twice, so it's mostly gonna be better than Beyond, I believe. Alright, we'll go with that.
forgot if we were playing on the player on the draw. Oh well. This, this octopus is toast, but that's alright. Oh yeah, that thing stays alive when it dies. Mostly harmless though. This thing only hits for one damage. I think I should have hit the Rouge there. Yomber can finish that little dude off next turn. Oh well. Guess I'll go ahead and level up. This sets us up to uh, play their super card next turn if need be. Yeah, now we can actually use the super card to destroy the monster this thing leaves behind, too, so that'll be funny. Bye bye! Can't believe that thing's still alive. Alright. Well, that's game. Short order, too. This time, so get doggy in early. No need to level up quite yet, but still at full HP. Good kill though. gonna do is set up set it up so Rafi can level up next turn. Just too easy at the super. I get a perfect game here. 
really just isn't even close. You get a nice chunk of points for that because we barely lost any five. Yep. You're 38 instead of 250. Back to the old car shop. Let's get two packs this time. Still gonna save a little bit because the later later packs are better, but eh. Ooh, another ghost shoot. Griffins are terrible, though. Yeah, there's a super I'm not going to use. Alright, one more down. There's eight sections, so... See how far I can get here on one sitting. Might be able to beat the game with the option to speed up here. Sure, we'll be playing some tournaments soon. Oh, wait, there's a second page. Alright. That's uh, talking about the Blend Coon feature. Don't really need it. Might mess around with it, uh, post-game playthrough. I forgot to put my card in. Oh well. This sheet's good, but it's nothing like super OP or anything. Oh, I'm playing first? Well, whatever. Slightly unfortunate. I'm actually, gonna lose this ghost sheet. There's not much I can really do about it, but I can do some damage to this Bonzo on the way out. Good time for an early super though, so I guess I'll try that out. Actually, I don't think that shield was necessary. And actually, I'll hold off on this super too. We, we just don't need to do it yet. Our Rafi's. Fairly safe shape for now. Aw, oh, so mean.
Gotta kill that uh, poly spinner. Just that beyond's more vulnerable. Hmm, interesting. Poly spinner's a little busted. Gets to attack twice. Besides its frailness, it doesn't have any real drawbacks, so it's kind of absurd. Alright. On the draw here. Expected to see some more uh, squids from the guy in a squid costume, but okay. Gear, but you do get to poke the griffin this way. Level 2 Rocky's also a little safer in this position. Well, now he's level 1, so I guess it doesn't matter. be leveling up the uh, front one for sure here. That is a huge swing. I mean, I'm be able to fall the super here. Mm, not quite. Got close. Hunt's monsters are just so weak, though. Uh, I honestly don't see what he can do to win.
anyone else? Here's a beetle card. Duo Mantis. Not really very useful for uh, quick play, but it's pretty good once we get to the more complicated rule sets. Alright, well he gets to play first. Our uh, ghost sheep finally gets some action here. Show off its uh, bulk. Honestly, it's basically an octopus in this situation since we're gonna level it up, but... Actually, we don't need to level it up. We can just leave it as it is. Yeah, I'm alright with that. Maybe it's a little greedy, I don't know. Okay, that was a little greedy. Well, she had to use a spell to get there. Thing also only has 5 HP, so if we uh, draw a ranged attacker, we can actually finish it off. And we did not. Oof. Man. Not pretty. Special off. The good news is, if this Phoenix uh, finishes off our guy, we can be right back in it with the super here. Sounds protect Rafio here. Okay, that's that's an ideal. Like we're one damage short of winning here, so yeah. I can do four to clear. I can finish up the finish off the front, but uh, yeah. Be a little short. I'm 
We only have four damage in our hands here. Well, she either has a range attacker or not, I guess. Alright, well, we got lucky. the big boy game now. Junior rules. I think we're uh, overdue for another tutorial here, so Let's see what happens. Alright, so I don't know how many of you guys will be familiar with the goals of this game, but basically our, uh, we're attacking each other, our master, and they have two defense, and our monsters have two attack. But if we wait, it boosts their attack by one. So basically to do damage, here we have to charge up, or we're gonna have to level up our guys to increase their attack to do damage. Uh, Haruka is demonstrating that right now. She does get to level up her Manita, which threatens lethal for next turn, but uh, our Manita are still on charge state, so we win the game. Basically, whenever you wait, it increases your attack and defense by one. Once you take damage, you leave that charge state. And also, that plus one attack also only works for basic attacks, so not very useful for back row monsters. It can help them survive, though, so that's nice. All right, I guess we're uh, playing for keeps now. This is a decent hand. 
We got some decent frontline attackers and decent backline attackers. Yanbir and uh, Rafi representing the two best cards in our deck right now. And we'll just pass, of course. Well, we'll play out the Beyond. I Why not? Wow. Well, we do get to level this spell up. Oh. I guess we're going face. I guess this is still like a semi-tutorial, so it'll make you do things that you don't actually want to do. Alright, you get in there. We're gonna take A damage from this Manitot. Definitely gonna need to get rid of this dog, so that's that's the thing that's attacking our face. Is our Rafi on the right level two as well? I didn't even notice that. so much so many stones here let's keep our doggy friend alive for a turn those two aren't really doing anything so uh, we'll go ahead and attack Kuruk as master here I guess I should have used another shield, I just wasn't even thinking there.
we'll try and protect Mr. Bubble here. That bird's probably toast, but wasn't doing anything helpful there anyway. is a very weird card. It basically doesn't have any stats. Wrong button. Ever basically doesn't have any stats at all. It can attack for one. It penetrates defense, so it's really good for offense against opponent's masters. said it costs three cents to use and it dies to basically anything so it's a very flawed not reasonable card it's demonstrating a wake up to us Cards usually take a turn to summon in this mode, but with Wake Up, you can summon them uh, prematurely. It can be very useful. Especially with cards like Maverick, where uh, you can deal extra damage right off the bat. Use Bomb King. Won't be using that one, but it's there. This thing it hits for 6 damage, but it has 4 HP, so uh, doesn't do a whole lot of living, I tend to see. Supers tend to be much, much better in speed play than regular play, in my opinion. Twenty card. Question is mainly what I don't want, and Centaurus is terrible since it misses half the time. So I'm gonna sub that one out for sure. Not a Griffin fan either. And I'm not gonna use Bomb King. Uh, I don't even remember what this does. 
Play his level change or in a pinch, I suppose. Don't love any of these options, really. Alright, I have all my Rafis in. Purple Bomzos. I think we're good. Alright, no cards that time, just some tips. Alright, first tournament. Gee, we're gonna be playing some big kid cards here. Look at that bracket. Ooh, lousy draw for a friend. Alright, we're gonna mulligan that front row threats. Spinner, a very good aggressive card. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Make face the place from the get go. This thing is gonna die like immediately, but he's gonna do a damage on the way out. He hits his own guy there, but uh, he can recover his HP by leveling up, so it's no biggie. Good position to level up our ghost sheep here. Ruffy's in like very minor danger. So. Put that shield up there. not 100% sure what that magic was. Oh, it made it invincible. Okay. That's fine. So, we can actually delete that. This will clear all effects on the board. Sandy. So now we can actually level up Rafi here. Actually, I lied. I'm gonna I'm gonna level up Yamir.
Roth, Rothy can charge you. Up. Why don't we take a chance on level change here? Because if we can level up Rafi, that's game. Oh, no good. That's alright. I don't really care too much what the computer does here because we're gonna put out the Maverick here and that's just gonna kill him instantly. I'm not sure why I played that card. Okay. Is a two uh, lethal monsters that he has to take care of. We did one to us. This is like an actual tournament for just practicing. But whatever, there's guys and we have to beat them. This is actually a pretty good hand. We are gonna try and level up this beetle. The uh. Duel Mantis. Once this gets to level 2, it learns a skill where it can attack for 4 damage for the cost of 1 stone, so... Really do a number on your opponent's uh, master. Not use this to attack unless it's my own master because of that card. Well, this Project Math Mantis is doomed at this point.
this thing only attacks for two, so I don't really care about it. This Mantis should be able to finish them off next turn. Oh my gosh, it's coming on. have the spell to get rid of that, so we are lucky. This one guy I had that. <laughs> I think I had that last turn. I wasn't even thinking to use it on my own guy, but it did save us. Than the man, Ichijo himself. This is good. I'm actually gonna go dual, dual sheep here. And we'll save this guy for later. Do some damage near the end. Kind of a bummer we have to go second. It's a pretty clear advantage to go first. Just end up with so many more, uh, so many more stones to work with. All right, this prevents leveling up, but I don't think we care about any of those. Well, actually, we can use it on this thing. We don't want it to level up. It's practically full. Cool. Practically dead, and now restored to full health, so. Let's get. Oh, actually. Hmm. That's nah, just set up to level up the beetle. There's sheep incoming. We don't might die here, but if we can even get one solid hit in it, we should be able to finish him off with Poly Spinner soon. Okay, just take out the sheep. It's a respectful move. Tricky here. This Yam Bear probably isn't gonna stick around, but we'll level up the spur just for the heck of it.
yeah, attacking for four in the quick game isn't that big of a deal, but man, in this mode, this is so much damage. Okay, I have no idea why he did that, but okay. Actually, uh, level up this bird here, so let's do that. Maybe Supper, uh, a lethal attack next turn. I saw that one coming for sure. Demonstrate why Poly Spinner is broken. He's wanted want its moves to charge in the second move to attack. Actually, quite useful, so I am gonna pick it up. Well, I want over a power up. Yeah, I better take the power up. I don't have one of those yet. Getting close to a uh, main game here. I get to see the credits. Ooh, we get a card too. What is it? The Spartus? Oh, it's a Rafi. Oh, it's a cute Rafi. That's our arrival. Anything I wanted to add. I definitely want this power up then. Throw that in over level change. Alright, we go first. Sand good? Uh, I think we do better on average. Yeah. This is actually a near perfect tan. It's basically what we're going for.
Swamp Maverick can come by uh, later on. We don't need him quite yet. Play a game of everyone gang up on the ghost sheep. Actually, I'm gonna use a spark and uh, attack OP directly here. Good and all, but I mean, I just want to win the game here. Yep, and if we power our guy down, fair enough. here is going to demonstrate uh, having a good back row is really helpful. And get up level up without spinning any extra cards. That being said, I am actually, I cannot use an, oh, I can use this, okay. I cannot use a power up on it since it already has its power affected, but we can still uh, affect its defense, so. Hmm. Yeah, this shield will keep it alive for sure. If I leave it in charge state, it has a small chance of living, but... I think this will be better. Sources of damage are going to be dead, but we'll have Maverick coming in here in a hot second and he'll finish our opponent off. sure what the point of using that power 2 was when they're already killing that monster, but okay. Ooh, a super form. That's interesting. It didn't really do anything, but it's interesting. Alright, well that thing's gonna hit us at least once. Down again. Works such an odd card, but gotta say it's an effective one at what it does.
I am facing Mr. Beefcake Cosmo here. We're on the draw. This is a very weird hand, but I am going to keep it. Mostly because of the beetle. But we also get some extra damage with our little UFO guy here. Probably Spinner's super dead, but he did his job here by uh, doing a little damage on his way out. I think I want to play another Rafi here, though. Can't actually use its bone shot on top of your other cards. You can really only hit it diagonally or over uh, over unsummoned monsters or upside down monsters. So you can hang on my hand for another turn or two. Oh, opponent's super dead. We have two damage in our hand and three damage on the board. Just didn't answer our threats at all. Alright, we're playing a uh, rival coon here. And we're going second again. Yeah, well. Good hand.
there anything I need to keep alive? I think we're good here. Save that chill for later. We have a ton of versatility in what we can do because we have two back row attackers. Letting me do whatever I want here. That's another level up. I've been burn a shield here for good measure. I know. Actually, that probably wasn't necessary. Whatever. <laughs> strategy here. I think it's over. Scapegoat, that finishes off this and that deletes Scapegoat's effect, so now we can just attack him directly? It's just a very bad move. Best of three. All right. See if he has any tricks this time. It's a pretty decent hand. Back row wasn't super good here, but we do have a bomb. So do uh. Kind of fill in as our as our back our threat. Oh, there's a Yomdur. Kind of what I was looking for.
basically if we get in with Zoomantis, uh, that's pretty much game. Because we're already getting a freebie with Ghost Sheep, and we also have a damage in our hand in the form of Thunder. Okay, that, that's fair. Poly spinner here. May can separate revenge kill and then uh, go for the face. Oh, he shielded the wrong guy. He know I was going after the bird all along. So he's the first attack to level up, the second attack to attack directly. Pretty spicy stuff here. Next turn we get to play Maverick and Thunder, so that's game. There's really nothing I expect he can do here. Kill for the old Maverick. Yay, we won the tournament. And uh, I'll just roll credits here at normal speed if uh, y'all want to hang around and watch it. I feel like I'll be kind of scummy to fast forward through them. Not too much to see, mostly just Haruka going through town. Weird 3D art style. I do like the credit sequence. I wonder if these are like the favorite cards of all the uh, developers. Or if they're just like random ones that, <laughs> random ones that were selected for them. Not really sure. Story mode for this game's alright. I don't think the card engine's too bad, but uh, the bummer about this game is you usually end up with a really similar deck since so many of the 
cards are selected for you, so you don't really get to get creative until post-game. Unlike, say, Pokemon trading card game or, uh... Court Fighters Clash or games like that where card pool could be very random. Alright, we'll go through uh, the scene real quick. Kurimo uh, gives us our uh, truth hero Dean that he pretended to give to us earlier. It's kind of cool. Decent card. Really good for running over just low level opponents, but it's still fine for end game. Truth or Dean's more of like a defensive or a mid range type card as opposed to aggressive. really balls out aggro is all the meta is for this game so Dean isn't too good in PvP but versus computer it's a very nice card. That's introducing the uh, new masters that are unlocked, the dark and white master. Oh, I'll check my mail and that'll be it for this time though. For any of those who are curious about this game but don't want to play it in Japanese, hope that uh, this playthrough scratched the itch. Got through it reasonably quickly, I think. They'd have to really jam that fast forward a bit, but eh. Kind of how it goes. Another alt art card, that's cool. Anyway, next time we'll mess around with a few of the card passwords and also do some tournaments and try to finish up the chapters 9 and 10 here. Anyway, that's SRC 543 checking out. Thanks for watching and have a good day.